see you do that flame test again. All right, what element is that? Potassium. The purpose of this video is to educate people about how I feel science education should work, in particular in middle schools and in high school settings. So what you have to do is you take a test tube and you add your unknown solution. And then you take another test tube and you add six drops of that unknown to that test tube. After that, you add two drops of lead to form a yellow precipitate. And this turned yellow, that means this unknown includes iodine. Science laboratories are something that should start early in, in our students and our, our children's education. They should be robust, they should be inquiry based, and uh, they should happen uh, frequently in, in their class periods. We should never have students sitting in science classes that, that are not participating in laboratories. Okay, so I took a solution of salt and water and to test what the cation is, I'm going to heat up the solution and evaporate all the water until only the salt crystallizes and remains. So now salt is crystallized. It's become cloudy and it made a distinctive sound. So I'll just make sure I have some salt here. It says barium, so it'll be golden with green streaks. And you can see very clearly. Oh, so take the salt off and throw the stick. Raise it in the flame. And you can identify the cation by the flame color. And so, what's that cation? It is strontium. Okay. It's really important that the science teacher, the chemistry teacher, provide a setting where the students can explore the science that they're studying, that they can do inquiry-based labs, that they can have aha moments. And then we need some of this stuff, potassium chromate. We're doing the re a reaction I found yesterday. Whoa! Yeah, wait, you need some more. It turned like black. And then that that proves there's oxygen. There's oxygen. Oh, oh yeah, hide on your pee. Hide. 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 Hide.